Oh, hey everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and today it's time to play some more Roguelands with Maya the Siren. The character that it's easiest to hit crits with in the entire game, and hopefully that can come to fruition right here. Now, Maya's actually the character that I've gotten the least wins. Oh, wow. Really? A strength relic? You're gonna hit me with that? That's okay. Yeah, Maya's the character I've gotten the absolute least wins with, and that's simply because I feel like she's got a pretty bad matchup against the dragons. Like, we get to the dragons pretty consistently. It's just... Cleansing the dragons is the hard part. Especially if we're not getting any decent weapons. I mean, we'll take that T to our SMG for sure. Let's see, that's a times two with a 10 magazine size. I mean, that potential face time has potential. <laughs> the potential, potential face time. All right, here we go. Bandit, T to your recoil. T Man. I think we take the T to your recoil one for an. I mean, we take them all. I mean, Allegiance frogs are. They are what they are. They're decent. All right. Corrosion damage weapon. Doll pistol. A bandit SMG. Sure, why not? So let's go ahead. And if if it comes if it comes down to it, this is going to be our main weapon right here. Because if we put some points into foresight, we get magazine size and reload speed, which helps out TDR. So beyond that, we have this Hyperion shotgun. Yeah, watch from refinery. Okay. So... The corrosion damage weapon is going to come in clutch here, I think. Go down, homie. There we go. Okay, he goes down. Don't want to get blown up here. Let's see. A terror. A peering. How about we just use this one truck reloads? And just walk forward, walk back. Thank you. See you later. Chuck. Chuck. Not terrible damage. Not great damage out there. Well, we're in trouble. Here we go. Hit him, hit him, hit him. There we go. We're back up, we're back up. And let's see. Emory Gen and fire rate for a short time. Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's get, let's get the launcher out, maybe. Launcher. Wow, the fact that, that not even this is that much damage is crazy. Nice. Good job. Good job. Huge. No super badasses, please. Thank you. Just a regular hot loader. Yes. Okay. Round one done. That's one of the hardest rounds for sure. For sure. But we got through it. Pretty much no problem. Let's see. Shield recharge rate or fight for your lifetime? Neither. It, it, it is fire. What am I wrong? It is fire. Marksman's rat tat tatter. Nope. Um. I guess shield recharge rate's okay. But again, we're, we're looking for something a little bit stronger. Open up, bad boy. Sticky longbow slag singularity. Fine. Longbow singularity is good, and then maybe a chance to slag on top of it could be also good. Torg launcher. I think we take that over the one we currently have. Probably a little bit better. If I had to guess. I know there's something up there, but I've never figured out quite how to climb up there. Okay, I'm worried about it. All right, what's in here? Corrosive damage, SMG, huge. Calipine. Now the, the blue Jacob snipers are kind of funky doo doo. Let's see. Of uh, customer focused thinking. I think that could be okay. I think that I like that better than the times too, because I can fire it more often. All right, so emulate adds incendiary damage to all my fight for my life shots, or I can do phase locking. Or it's a fire explosion. I mean, that to me just sounds better. Especially against enemies like this that have flesh. Like these bully monks. The amp shield. Mm. We go a little bit of turtle. A little turtle action. Watch, he's gonna be lit on fire. See? Just my action skills not to kill that lad. Let's get my fire damage gun out here. Bye, Mr. Corrosion. And Mr. Dart. Go. This should do okay once the once the darts start popping. Yeah, there we go. We go. I'm gonna play hardball. I can play hardball. The dart doesn't give you that instant gratification, but it does do good damage. Later, homie. Come on. Go up. 
Yeah, this guy is still a little tanky, huh? It's okay. Early game. Listen, we're not gonna, we're not really one shotting anybody. Looking decent though. Climb up here. Something powerful. Scatter gun. Okay, that is gonna be good. How about we rock this fire SMG for now? I think shock quite yet though. You guys are gonna have shields, which is gonna be annoying. No shields on that laddie. Oh, nice. Let's use this. Take this. Very good. He should die to the fire. There you go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Anybody with shields? Any shielders? Yeah, we got a shielder right there. Let's back it up a little bit so it's harder for them to hit me. Rip both these guys with their shields and then swap. Go up. He goes down. Thank you very much. Good round. Good round. All right, go around this corner. Pop goes the weasel. He's spinny gun. Oh, that looks kind of kind of okay. Oh yeah, nice. Good replacement weapon there. Emerald rifle. Ooh, a pushka. That's gonna be good too. Let me take some of that action. Hmm. Yeah. I think I like what we're going with here. Again, those early, those early pressure pads really do ramp up the run a good amount. Let's see, what do we got? Team cooldown rates. 26, 27. Helios and Reaper. Suspension and Helios. Let's go Helios and Reaper. I want the cooldown rate as well. Five more points. Cloud kill, obviously we're going cloud kill. Reaper next. Let's go. What you got for me? Oh, that looks kind of nice. We take that for sure. Okay, looking good. What next? A Vladoff, a Vladoff barrel umbridge is an absolute must, in my opinion. We come across a tanky enemy, we can slag him and then bag him, obviously. Let's see. Chain reaction and life tap. I am a, a cat class mod enthusiast. As much as some people might not like it. Come on, give me those crits. I'm aiming a little bit too high. There we go. Yeah. Reload me. You go up. The Helio should take care of him, but just in case, I'll add a couple more shots. Thank you, Pushka. Thank you, just Vlad off, Vlad off snipers in general. Just so strong. Overpowered, dude, honestly. See you later. Um, I don't really need max health and grenade bonuses. I don't have anything homing. Necessarily. Oh, help me. Get this guy before he gets here, if we could. Keep on coming, homie. Thank you. Thanks for the collab kill. Thank you. Yeah, this round becomes relatively easy. With a sniper rifle. That's the hardest part about this. Oh, you come out of the box. Nice. Oh, come on. Now I got gotcha. you. Somebody else over there. Oh, it's this guy right here. His loot, too. Bob Kill's gonna do a good chunk to this guy. Five shots in the Pushka. Very good. Now, I feel like if I just use this slag with cloud kill, see how much damage this does. Yeah, that's really strong. Let's see, a whiskey tingle fox trot, zero percent chance. So just just slag with cloud kill. I mean, that seems really, really, really good. Slag plus cloud kill. Come on, come out of the box, homie. One, this one shot has to hit. One. There we go. Dude, you, you are stuck in that box. <laughs> Only one more kill required. Here we go. Welcome back, homie. See ya. Alright, let's get my loot. You know where the secrets are on this map, so... Mm. No thanks on that apparatus. But now... 
Now we can get Reaper. More, even more damage. Strong stuff. Run back here. Pressure pad me. Doesn't look like I got very lucky on this one. Yeah. No, not very lucky. It's okay. Let's climb for the to, to some red chests and a relic. Because if I can get a cooldown relic, that's going to be kind of the go, go to with the sauce status. Any red chests over here? I think there is one. Yep. Hmm. Torg launcher. Alright, we take it. It's higher damage and higher magazine size, which is kind of like the two things you want in a rocket launcher. And bandit's the, the type that I really like, but... It is what it is at this point. Let's see. Longbow Tesla. Hmm. I want to see what this one does. Oh, it's a homing. It's not going to blow up. I guess, I guess we take the Longbow Tesla for now. Pop this open. Get okay, homing shot grenade. No thanks. That's a ravager. Yeah, it is. It's a Hyperion grip though. What if we left it behind? What if we left it behind? All right. Relic me. Let's see, shock damage is very, very good. In case you guys didn't see it, the relic's actually inside there, but um, when you when you walk by it, it still opens up. Let's get that shock re relic on ASAP. Yeah, it's on. Now our pusha is gonna be one tapping, one tapping kids for sure. And we're gonna need it. Okay, let's go. Put this guy up. Nice. Oh, that's good deeps right there. Very good deeps. You stay away from me. You too. Oh my gosh, that damage. Now we're tapping. Go down. Yep. Easy money. The shock damage we like is multiplicative damage bonus, which is in ab absolutely enormous. Especially if you land crits like I have been. Nice. Uh, let's shoot this TV. We're looking for better grenades and better shields, so. Oh, come on. Usually when you walk up here, more guys spawn right on top of you. No, nope, not this time. Okay. Just me. Uh, I don't see that that sniper being all that great for us. Climb, climb, climb. Get behind some cover if you can by climbing up here. Good. He's he's a goner. Here we go, cloud kill. I need Cloud Kill to activate as soon as possible. Pop. There we go. Slag him up. And then Cloud Kill with a, with a sniper should back him down. Okay, we're, we're okay. We're okay. We're not in the greatest shape, but we're not in necessarily that much danger. Until Mad Dog spawn, or Mad Mike spawns, then we're in trouble. We want to get closer to the entrance before Mad Mad Dog spawns. It's the secret. Whoa, grenade! Oh, cool, man. Oh, he spawned, he spawned, he spawned. I'm in trouble. This is exactly where I didn't want to be. Exactly where I did not want to be. Use that railing. Put him up. I'll rinse him in the head if I can. Take him down, take him down, take him down. Yes, let's go. Good job, good job. Keep that TV right there. What did you drop me, homie? Ooh, a kitten. Let's go. Let's put. Let's equip it. Let's equip it for sure. Thank you. The kitten is a nice weapon, especially on Maya. It's gonna be healing us up. Let's see. Ignite chance and burn damage. No. As much as I would like to. I mean, maybe. Maybe it could be good. I'm not too sure. Either way, let's take chain reaction. Let's do. I like immolate. 
One point blight phoenix. Might as well. Oh no. Take that shield. Oh, I, I grabbed it. Let's go. All right, let's see if this burn damage really can help us out here. Or burn damage, burn damage class mod, I mean. Whoa. This one is absolutely insane. It's got to be a slow rocket, though. There's no way it's not a slow rocket. Let's see. And not even a bad rocket. Holy, the cloud kill on that went insane. All right, come on now. Oh, the kit and the, uh, the spread is ridiculous. Yeah. Hey, don't you do that. That's not cool. Yep. Damage over time is going to kick in here. Jump. Take him down. Come on, go up. Oh, the railing is saving this guy's life. 100%. Burn damage should take this guy down. If I got a burn damage class mod. Uh, it didn't actually. That's crazy. Where's my shock? Where's my shock damage sniper? There it is. Let's equip that for this. Arts. Okay. Put him up. Go ahead, Cloud Kill. Do your thing. I, oh, I have a longbow uh, and singularity grenade. That's okay. Once my once my phase lock comes back up cooldown, we'll be chilling. No, it's a Tesla. That's right. Come on, Doc. Where you at? Zoom in the foot. Doesn't matter to me. Let's go. All right, let's clean up our loot back here before we head forward. Right now, our ro rocket launcher does more damage than any rocket launcher I've really seen that's non-unique, so that's kind of interesting and fun. Let's see. A corrosive cloud is good. Take that. Mm, Snyder's are... This one has a 70% chance to slag. 70%? I mean, that's pretty decent, and it can activate cloud kill. Uh, let's take ruin. And accelerate. Let's go for the damage. Go for those deeps. I think a corrosion damage really could go pretty nuts for us. This is it cloud kill? Alright, what you got? How about a I'm looking for a Pimpernel. Stray dog, skyrocket. A Fremington's edge. A yellow jacket, a hydra. Okay. Take yellow jacket. Take Fremington's edge. Mm, sure. Let's just take a hydra too, I guess. What's in here? Mm, I guess we take that one. Let's go next. We have enough different kinds of weapons that we can, I think, hit the box a little bit. Let's try it. Let's try to hit this box. Okay, cl class mod's good. Legendary binder, legendary cat. I mean, their legendary binder is better for now, but the legendary cat is better long term. Let's drop some stuff. I'll see you guys in a second. Are you ready? Boom. Kind of an okay one. Legendary cat is good. I've got a um, SMG in every different kind of element, so. Ooh, that looks like a blast proof the bee or the cradle. How about we go a little bee shield action? And you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's increase our SMG max ammo. And sniper if I can. There we go. Let's see who we gotta fight. Maybe the B can be good. Okay, against Terra Morphus, I think the B might get pretty good sizable chunk of his HP down. Let's rock this bad layer right here. And a legendary cat class mod. I do not have a transfusion, which means this fight, if it goes long, this fight goes long, we could be in a, in a good, good bit of trouble. How are we going to live? I don't know. This could be the, a run under for sure. No transfusion grenade. No healing. But we got a B. 
and we have a uh, legendary cat cloth mod. Let's just make sure that's equipped. Yep. Plus grenade. Is that bad, Larry? Okay, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, we didn't get smacked. That's really good. Oh, no. Damage me? Don't smack me. Oh, he missed. He missed. Yeah, that's a great terror kill. Let's go. Where'd you drop me? Oh, pitchfork. Okay. It's always fun. It's always fun. A seeker? I, I kind of snooze the seeker. Let's see. A seraphim or a punchy? Okay, well... Things are looking okay for us, to be honest with you. We got a little something for everything. Oh, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> the Seeker. Well, it isn't the... I don't know. I feel like the Seeker's not good at all. I'm gonna leave it on the ground there. The Forest. Which one is this? Descend, right? Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Find the real butt stallion. The first time I did this, it was extremely tough. But ever since then... That was a fast terror kill. I'm happy that that went the way it did. Very nice. So for mobbing, I think that if I just keep my distance with, you know, say a sniper rifle and go, say, maybe like a legendary binder class mod, things could be kind of nuts for us. Yeah, let's try it. So we're going to take off the cat, on the binder, and let's put on a, a Snyder. Let's just go with a Snyder. It's gonna it's gonna proc cloud kill. It's gonna proc B shield. And just be very picky about our engagements. Not to take any damage. Ah, oh, I got hit. Dang it. Go down, homie. Go down. Cloud kill do your work. This guy up. See ya. There you go. Don't take any damage, and the beast shield will stay up all the time. Yeah. Remember I slide transfusion? We take that. Toss it out. No, grenade. Duke. Put him up. Let me see him now. Oh, that's good deeps right there. Good. Maybe that'll kill. No. Not quite. Oh, no. Took damage. Took damage. That's okay. Still got cloud kill. Still got Snyder. Boom. See ya. I also want to try this Remington's Edge because I've looked at it last time I played and its zoom is ridiculous. Which could be nuts for the build that we're trying to go for right now. Just stay super far away and put people up. Hey, don't hit me. Dude, look at that zoom. Yeah. Grenade. Ow, oh, it did hit me. Shoot. Okay. Look at that zoom. Holy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Anybody else around? I'm so dumb. Yeah. Let's see, what do we got? Once I put you up, you're gonna be donezo, homie. Put my cooldown. There it is. Nice. Okay, one more kill. You don't want that work, trust me. This sniper rifle is actually kind of insane. Oh, look at that, Ravager. Again, yeah, it's not really what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's take accelerate and one point suspension and three points ward. Ward is the thing that's gonna keep our B shield up as much as possible. I grab this bad puppy. Lob slag transfusion. I think a little bit better than the rubberized because that can, can it might just blow. Up uh, earlier than the rubberized. Again, rubberized and homing. Those two grenades take longer to blow up, typically. You gotta be careful with using those. 
Let's try a train. You don't you're not getting me. Blood of the Seraphs or extra shot chance. Um I'm gonna take this one for now. I don't know, maybe maybe extra shot chance could be good. Depends on how much recoil, realistically. I right, put you up. Okay. B shield is active. I need my pitchfork out for here for sure. Oh, pitchfork. Yeah. Nicely done, cloud kill. Good. Anybody feel like jumping up here? Don't damage me. Good. Wow, this, this is insanely good. Good stuff, man. As long as we don't take any damage. These shield will be active and the pitchfork is... Oh, sick nasty with it. And the, I think the pitchfork has unlisted projectiles. See what it doesn't say times three? I think the pitchfork is kind of like a... It's kind of like a sandhawk in a way. Maybe that... I was hoping that would say sniper max ammo, but... Yeah, it's, it's, I think this is kind of like the, the Borderlands 3 sandhawk. Which is insane. This combo is ridiculous. Anybody else around? Okay, well, I'm gonna start farming then. If you, if you guys wanna pop out, make sure you let me know. Gotta be something back here, right? No? Okay, okay. That's fine. Let's go, let's run up here. Right now, our relics are okay. I mean, the extra shot chance... I, I was kind of sleeping on it, but it seems actually kind of nutty. Let's see. Hard carry. I don't think I want it. This, the Asarful damage is nice, though. Okay. Up across this way. This is where the enemies are, and this is where the loot is at as well. Nothing there that I want. I, I was totally sleeping on this pitchfork. I think it's. I need to put much more respect on this name for sure. Okay. That guy should be gone. Put him up. Out of ammo. That's not good. Okay, then why don't we. We have other options. This umbridge should do well as well. Here we go. Don't take damage. He got me. He tagged me. Look, you did it, brother. Was it for the good of the team? No, because your team lost anyway, so. Not much you could have done. This my build's going pretty ridiculous. Oh. Hmm. I guess. Let's see. Nothing there is really calling my name. Five more points. Let's go into ward. Inertia. There. I need one more point in that inertia. I guess we go sweet release too, just to get the healing. Things are looking good. Round this tier two is, is being pretty easy here. What do we have for these lads? I think Nana Elemental. Let's go for, where's my Remington's edge? Let's do, let's do this bad puppy right here. Has anybody spawned yet? He spawned in. Yo, oh, what a crit. Holy, nice damage. Later. Hey, you guys stop throwing stuff at me. How about that? Inertia kicking in. The, hard, the worst part about the bee is that it takes a long time to regenerate, but Maya's got good skills to get all your stuff back, so. Make it look easy out here. See ya. Oh my goodness. This, if Remington's edge is holy. Okay. Nice. Anybody else around? 
I see you. Oh, what a, what a whiff. Nice. One, two buck on my shoe right there. See ya. Keeping track of the enemies if I can. Hey. Oh, holy. The damage is redonkey. It's redonkey. Donkey. Oh, I found you. I don't even see him. Oh, people are spawning to my right. Okay, okay. I see you guys. Wait, come through the wall. Longbowman, huh? Very nice. It's good to know that if you walk close to the wall, it'll spawn in. Because sometimes there's an ultimate bass around here. That I definitely do not want to fight if I don't have to. Got some good grenades. Still nothing that crazy. Okay. Let's do inertia. Suspension. The extra zoom makes it really, really easy to hit crits. So easy. What you got in here for me? Mm, nope. Mm, nah. I'm opening that up like it's a regular chest. Not here. Nothing. Okay, one more chest, and then we can go next. I mean, how well is this build going to do against dragons? The hardest part about Maya with dragons is that they do so much damage to her. There's, she doesn't have a way. Like, every other character, I feel like, has a way to mitigate the amount of damage that the dragons do. Rig has just ridiculous amount of damage reduction. Salvador has a bunch of healing, a bunch of damage reduction, and can put a healing weapon in one hand. And a powerful weapon in his right hand for killing. Axon has turrets. See ya, homie. Sorry. Uh, Zero has deception. You know, different ways to get the dragons to use their, their hard-hitting abilities on something other than just you. Maya... Kind of have yourself. If you don't have a rough rider, you know, for fleet, then you're, you're kind of on a look, I feel like. This, okay, this this might be my new favorite combo. Plow kill plus Fermentian's Edge. I mean, the Beast Shield's doing a lot too, but don't get me wrong, but. Kind of ridiculous. Now, a strategy that we could try to employ is to get the green dragon down, but don't kill it, and instead just try to kill the other ones in the air. I, I just don't I just don't see it being that useful, that successful. Let's shoot some beer bottles, by the way. Just tough for me to envision like how we get by the dragons in my but one time I did get by the dragons was with a with a power-up. Like, I got one of the little guys to drop a power-up, and I just rinsed two of the dragons right down, and then... Yeah, that was it. That was that was the run. Nice jump. <laughs> okay. Go here. Okay, here comes Boom. I'm gonna be able to put him up, and I'm gonna be able to rinse him down with a pitchfork, for sure. All right, first boom. Go up. Go down. Okay, you're gone. No rack. Are you are you serious? Give me my shield back. Not cool. You guys gotta stop hitting me. There we go. Good news. Cloud kill did a good job there. Where's boom? Knock him, put him up in the air. There we go. Yeah. The bee fork. You might have heard of bee hawk, but have you heard of bee fork? Don't think so. Kind of ridiculous combo. What did you drop from me back here, by the way? This can be a sand hawk. That's why we gotta check. Oh my gosh, it's an SMG. It's two lane. Oh, a tragedy befalls our heroes. The two lane is cool, but it slags you. You slag yourself when you use it, so. I mean, the possibilities are endless, but no. Not taking it. But what if? 
No, come on. Don't take it. Don't be a fool. Okay. Suspension. Quicken. Good. And final beer bottle. Beer bottle. You got here. I would like it like a transfusion grenade. Well, I think I have one now, right? My current one's transfusion, right? Lab slag. Yeah, 1.2 seconds too. On the fuse time. Okay, let's go next. Who do we get? Somebody easy, please. Uh, who is this? Okay, it's Saturn. This is gonna be a really easy fight for us. Got the pitchfork. Okay, slag him up. Knock him down. Cloud kill is gonna do a number on him. Holy easy fight. He did end up hitting me. But I live. See, that's the problem. See, I can't kill the dragons as fast. Okay, a grog nozzle. Okay, a grog nozzle might have a little bit of something for us. It's a good replacement for what we're using now. I'm going to look up top to see if he dropped us anything good up there as well. That might be a magic missile. Kind of look like one? No. Okay. And I'm talking a lot about the dragons and what it takes to beat the dragons, but it's just because I feel like my... I, I don't know. Hey, get me up there. Really? Uh -huh. Hey. <laughs> Not cool. Come back down here. Thank you. When I used to play co-op with my brother, uh, that, our... A tradition as old as time is leaving on the elevators before the other person gets there. See ya. <laughs> hey, get back down here. Okay, let's open up a couple of these chests and head on to the next raid boss. What raid boss do we want to see? Honestly, I think I think we might have what it takes against Pyro Pete. The tough one, Hyperius is going to strip our shields all the time. That one might be tough. Ooh. How about a nuke for the lads, huh? Nice. I'm glad I checked. Let's go. I'll collect my reward first. Obviously, yes. You're right. Let's see. I can't tell if it's an Avenger. Look, the Avenger, as much as people like it, I mean, I'll take it, but... I'm just not Avenger-pilled. I'm really not. I'm looking for a shield that isn't the B shield. Give me something good, Michael, please. Okay, grenades. What is that? Okay, it's a Hyperion Plasma Caster. Ooh, what is that bad boy? Okay, it's Slag Bunker Weapon. That's That's gotta be strong. Especially with a Cat Class mod. Yeah, let's, let's juice up our... Let's juice up our ammo now. Get grenades up. Okay, so let's organize... Um, bunker weapon for sure. Plasma caster go there. Nukem get dropped in. Let's go. Who are we gonna fight? Okay, this Pyro Pete. Now, we're gonna try to rinse Pyro Pete's HP as quickly as we can. I don't have the highest damage shock weapons, but get a Pushka out here. Hopefully, that'll get the job done. Legendary, yeah. Okay. Right. And let's go ahead and... Get our phase lock going. Yeah. And fleet, for when our shields go down. Come on, slag, slag, slag. I should have just... I, I could have just done that way easier. Okay. He's not so bad, not so bad, but he's gonna do his... His ground pound here soon. Okay, here comes the ground pound. Okay. Yep, here comes the ground pound. Let's cleanse it off, cleanse it off, cleanse it off. Let's go after these laddies. Get rid of all of them, get rid of all of them. Okay. Let's see if I can get some slag going. Not bad. Not bad. 
Nice. Huge. Okay. okay. Should we land those crits? Actually, it feels to me like I would be better off at this point just slapping on the cat class mods instead and using the bunker up. And I mean, that it seemed like it was doing way more damage. Let's cleanse our debuff and make it happen. All right, cat class mod. Put up one of these bad Larrys. Throw a grenade down. Aim for the head. That's really good power repeat damage. Really good power repeat damage. Oh, the crits are coming raining in now. Oh, yes. Let's go. Hit him with that. The accuracy is ridiculous. Okay, he's gonna do his ground pound soon. Here it comes. Once the ground pound comes, we go for the... We go for this over here. Cleanse our debuff up. Don't get punched, don't get punched, don't get punched, don't get punched, don't get punched. Okay. Inertia should heal us. Get our shields back up to get our B shield back up and running. Hey, stop that. Thank you. Yep, Pyro Pete. Nice try, homie. Hey, good try. That's fine. Punch it right away. Thank you. Get me in that water. Get all these lads. Keep it easy for us. Thank you very much. Super easy rounds. See, another anti affection. How many of those can I get in one round? The world may never know. What do we get? Well, I mean, that's an interfacer with a Jacob's grip and a blade. I mean, that's not a very good interfacer, but I mean, it is what it is. Slayer of Daramorphus class mod. Nice, man. I was really hoping for like a. Oh, how about a legendary nurse? Problem is, all of Maya's healing is on kill. Wow. All of it. Except for one skill, and that's not enough to survive dragons. It's just not enough. Honestly, I'm not too sure what to do. Yes, yeah, drop down. So, optimally, optimally, we can keep our, our B shield up against the dragons, but it's just going to be so, so hard. This gun should be strong enough. I mean, what we, after what I just saw against Power Pete, this thing is going to be... I feel like, because of the way Hyperion works, I'm pretty sure that the Cat Class mod, because it gives me minus 41% accuracy, I think it actually gives me plus 41% accuracy um, with Hyperion weapons. Correct me if I'm wrong with that, but I'm pretty sure... That cat class mods boost the accuracy of Hyperion weapons. Would be which would be even better. I'm just gonna use this for, for a while. It's like more accurate than a sniper rifle. And it gets the cat class mod scaling. Alright, let's get some gubs. Thanks for the gubs. Okay. Now, a, I don't even know if I would even want a, a Sandhawk at this point, to be honest with you. I don't think I would actually want it. Let's see. Hey, don't shoot at me. See ya. Nicely done. Where are the enemies at? All the way over there? Look at that accuracy. That's good stuff. Put you up. Put you down. Someone just spawned in behind me. Don't take any damage from them. Get those crits. Get those crits. Good. Hey, don't shoot at me. Yeah, Maya can keep up the B shield like the entire time. That is so insanely ridiculous. 
They stop hitting me. Ooh, I just got hit by something big. Yeah, somebody's behind me doing stuff. Nice. Okay. Decent round. Decent round. Let's collect our loot up. Let's collect that loot. Uh, let's see. A Rough Rider. Okay, okay. Now, this, this could be good. Because the Rough Rider, it synergizes very well with Fleet. Now, I'm going to be very fast. And being fast is a good way to beat the dragons. If you can keep moving. Now, question. If I swap to a B from the Rough Rider. Yeah, it does. It's not full right away. Okay. That would have been insane if it was. Let's see. Health regen per second. If we go Rough Rider plus this. What's my other one? It's max health. Plus 39%. Max health regen per second, 1%. That's better. Yeah, it's better. We do this plus Rough Rider. Is that enough? Is that enough? I, I don't know. A good question. I don't know if it is enough. Those dragons are... They're merciless. You know, they, they, they're merciless. They do not care about your gear at all. A lot of the time. I sure wish I'd taken that legendary nurse class mod at this point. Oh, okay. Let's just... We already have a strategy for these guys. I don't think we... I think we just go right back to the well here. Go pitchfork. We don't even need the B shield for right now. Good stuff. Don't hit me. Hey, don't hit me. Dang it. Later. Good stuff. Put up this angelic guard. Wait for my B shield. Good. Oh, you're torched now, kid. Accelerate makes it a little bit easier to hit these guys. Oh. You thought, like, oh, I'm a flesh enemy. She won't kill me. Uh, yeah, I will. Yeah. Inertia. You want to kill us with corrosive damage? We're flesh. Don't care, homie. I do not discriminate. Everybody gets rinsed with the pitchfork. Holy, this thing is a beast. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Not fine. Not fine. Not fine. We're up to the nukem. Later. You actually survived. That's the craziest thing about some of these launchers that, like, there's supposed to be some of the. You know, Biggest, baddest weapons in the entire game. Could you please? Well. And they don't even kill the things you hit with them. Okay. There's a constructor that drops down right here. I want to be ready for it. Cross grenade. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The shield, man. That shield. That's tough. I'm out of ammo. Fire. I missed. No. No. Please. No. You've got to be kidding me. I shot the shield, the constructor. I thought it was down and it ends the run. It's so sad. But we actually had a really good time with the pitchfork with the B and the B fork combo. That's what I'm talking about. GG. GG.